What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and today I decided to talk about how to improve your photography using layer mask. I think for beginner photographers, the best uh, starting point is to learn Photoshop because you can uh, edit your photos in Lightroom. It will still look good but it's not as good as Photoshop. You can do a lot of things with Photoshop, especially masking. Masking makes the life of the photographer a lot easier. So without further ado, let's play the intro. Now, are you ready? Because I'm ready, let's jump into Photoshop. Now we are on Photoshop and I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. And now we have two layers here. You can see the other one is visible. I'll make this one visible first. So that's the top layer. For example, what you wanted to do is to keep the skin tone and everything uh, same as the original, but you just wanted to change uh, the color of the dress into red. So if you wanted to do that, you make this visible, make a layer mask. So this is the selection for the layer mask. Click it and layer mask will be open. White means it's transparent, so it's going to be visible. And the black, if we change it into black, black means it's not going to be visible. It's going to be invincible. So our goal now is to make everything black aside from the dress or the jumper. So in order to do that, we're just going to invert this layer mask into black. Uh, for Windows, control I. For Mac users, command I. And after that, see everything is hidden. So but you wanted to reveal uh, the dress, right? So if you wanted to reveal the dress, we're just going to select a brush and the color should be uh, white for the brush so the brush brush is already selected we can increase the hardness a little bit so that the edges would be like very soft so around 30% would be good and usually increase it as well to around 50% now we can zoom in uh, for Mac I'm using Mac just use command plus or uh, Windows control plus sign and after that, we're just going to draw. We're just going to mask it. Uh, see, if uh, you paint it white on this layer mask, it's going to be visible. So let's do that. I'm just going to fast forward this video. I just, I don't want to bore you with uh, masking. So you get the idea. It's just like color everything through. Just make sure all the jumpsuit areas are covered. Yeah, and see you in a bit. I'll just finish this one. up and you colored the areas that you don't want to be colored white you just uh, toggled and click the the black color of the brush and then paint it black again and that way you're gonna hide those areas which you don't want to be uh, changed just for tutorial purposes, I'm not going to go into much details on masking this one. I could still, I could zoom in and then just really mask, mask out the edges to make it really, really um, realistic. So I hope you get the idea. White means it's going to be visible. Black means it's going to be uh, not visible. You just made a new photo with the 
color of the jumper change but not the skin tone and everything you can do anything with with masking you can change the color of the eyes using the masking again with not changing the skin tone and the background so i hope you get the idea of how to use this one so this is the before and that's the after so there's really a lot of things that you can do with masking uh, i use this a lot especially if i wanted to change the color the hair or the color the skin tone of the subject without affecting the background so that's the secret if you want to change anything on the picture and you don't want to affect the, the rest of the areas then you need to use mask it's really important for you to learn this for you to understand this in order to improve your photography so for those who just started with uh, Photoshop or those who just installed Photoshop, maybe you're a bit um, enlightened now on how to use the mask. But for those advanced users who just who, who already know what I talk about, you might be wondering, okay, cool, so you know how to mask now, but how about changing the color? You just change the color of the dress. We all know that it's not that easy. Well, that's what I thought before, but I found a lot of ways in how, on how to change the color of the dress. You can change anything in terms of color in Photoshop in a lot of ways. Next time, I'll show you how to change the color of the dress or the hair or anything. Just change the color of anything you like according to your taste. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you, you learned something from it. If you do, please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.